We're recording. <laughs> okay, welcome to the Wooly Locks podcast. I'm Sherelle. I will be your host, and we're just going to talk about all things knitting, life in general, motherhood, homeschooling. It's just health, health and wellness. Like, this is going to be a podcast mostly knitting, but you're going to see some life stuff in here as well. So, I hope you enjoy subscribe like whatever the lingo that you're supposed to do to support my channel please do and um yeah let's let's break the ice and get episode one out into the world okay how do we do this <laughs> okay let's start with what i'm wearing let's do that i have notes down here so i'm gonna be like glancing um yeah we'll start with it okay I am wearing the Earth Pull Pullover by Ozetta. Um, this is knit with ZZ Textile um, Basalt Tweed, um, fingering weight held double. This was a test knit I did, um, what, a couple months ago now, maybe already? Um, I love the fit. I knit a size small to the pattern. Um, I don't think I made any modifications. Uh, or anything like that, but I did um, knit a size small instead of a size medium, so I had um, nine inches of positive ease instead of maybe like 10 or 12, like the pattern says. Um, yeah, I can't remember exactly, but I went for a smaller fit, more fitted fit. Um, so yeah, I wear this all the time. This is my first super wash um, garment for myself. I've knit some for the girls, but um, my first super wash sweater for myself. So it's kind of been nice to just like throw it in the washer, lay it out to dry. I do wash it in a garment bag just to make sure, like protect it a little bit, but it is nice to just be like, take a wash and then lay it to flat. It's nice. I, I'm not going to lie. Um, I do love the drape of it. Like, it's like very slinky, um, which a lot of the sweaters I've knit haven't been this quite um, slinky. It's been more like um, wooly wools um, with like stiffer, stiffer drape. But this is like my first like really drapey one and I like it a lot. Okay. Let's move on. Um, what I'm working on right now, we'll do that. I am working on a test knit for Rosetta, who also made this pattern. Um, it's the Autumn Tales Cowl. This is my first cowl. Um, so I've never kind of made anything like this, but here's the pattern so far. I'm almost done. Here's the back. Um, this will have a nice... Um, thick folded collar which will be super cozy under jackets and other sweaters <laughs> even um, I am using um, I'm holding it double let's see if you can with um, some alpaca yarn that I got from my local wool festival um, it's so good it's like my favorite uh, alpaca yarn now. You can see it. It is just beautiful. Um, you might hear my daughter in the background. She might even come join us because now she is a knitter. I don't know if you saw my, um, <laughs> I don't know if you saw my latest post, but my six-year-old picked up knitting all of a sudden and just like took off and has been knitting every single day. She's making a blanket for her baby. Um, and she may join me in this podcast. She might, you know, maybe, maybe not, but that's okay. Um, anyway, back to the cow. I am holding it double with this alpaca yarn, which she doesn't have a website. It's called, let's see, Morning Meadows Sundries LLC. You can get this at the Wool Festival or you can get it via email. <laughs> or a phone number. She doesn't have a website, no Instagram. You just, it's natural um, alpaca from her farm. Um, she's got a, probably like eight different colors, six maybe. 
Um, I have a few of hers that I will share here in a minute. Um, but anyway, I'm holding a double with um, the Fiber Company Ciro. And this is an alpaca um, cotton merino blend. So soft. I love this. Um, I've knit a few projects with this um, or this um, yarn before. But the combination of the two is coming together really nicely. Um, and it's a nice drape. Um, yeah, this is beautiful. I'm excited. This is my first cowl and I think it will get a lot of use. Um, so working on that, that is the most current project. Um, a few other that I am working on. Making the girls um, doll outfits from the Petite Knit. She has a doll collection. So I am knitting, tr trying to knit all the pieces in that collection for my youngest for Christmas. I have a few done, well done-ish, if you um, don't count weaving in ends. But um, I need to do final touches. So these are all pieces that come in children's sizes too but the, and in doll version so i am attempting to make a few pieces that match the dolls i don't know if they'll be done by christmas but this has a beautiful pico edge um to the collar i forget what this one's called but it's a whole set um also pico edge at the bottom here it's lovely so have ends to weave, edges to fold in on that. Um, this I also finished. I just need to add buttons. This is the Carl cardigan. Um, this was a top, top up cardigan, which I've never done before. I love the pattern, the stitch pattern, um, the tiny sleeves. So yeah, I it's a top up and then you add the sleeves which was something I have never um, done before, but I'm doing the children's version of that. And I will share that next um, as another whip I am working on. This is the skirt. Um, I finished the bottom. Everything needs obviously a good blocking. It comes with two little straps, um, like an overall skirt. So those straps are almost finished. They, you know, or just, I'm doing both of them two at a time. This is knitting for Olive, some scrap yarn that I had left over that I am finishing the straps with. Almost done there. So I have three down, three pieces down from the doll collection to go and probably like more than, more than I have time to make probably by Christmas, but we're gonna just see how it goes. Doll knits actually take longer than, um, I anticipated I figured these are doll knits they're tiny they're gonna whip up but like not really they're like they're like newborn <laughs> almost sizes so and it's with you know like this is what two 2.5 millimeters so 1.5 needles so this is small this this takes a lot of time way more time than I anticipated the skirt took me like I don't know as long as an adult sweater Maybe not that long, but it did take a long time. Okay, so then moving on to the um, children's version of the Carl's cardigan that I'm working on. We got strings everywhere here, but that's okay. Love the pattern. This is We Are Knitters, which was kindly gifted um, in the color Salmon. Finita? Finata? Finita. Um... I'm holding a double to meet Gage, and um, this is a merino blend, if I'm not mistaken. Um, that is also bottom up, so the sleeves are knit separately. I am almost on the second sleeve, having to finish that, and then you add it to the cardigan and then like work your way up. So that is a different construction. Um, that's been fun learning to how learning how to do. You know, everything's a good learning project. I try to do um, each project. I try to like add a new technique. So whether it's like 
color work, eye cord stuff, um, bottom up, you know, just like different things. It's like fun to learn. I'm sure a lot of people do that um, just to like expand your skills and stuff like that. Last, this is a finished item, um, which I almost wore this today, but I decided to wear my earth pullover instead, but this is the Celeste sweater by Petite Knit. Um, love the color work. This is knitted in the alpaca that I was just talking about by um, the Morning Sunrise LLC. And then this is just like some scrapped alpaca that I had, um, yeah, with like the gray, I don't know if you can see that there's a little tiny gray color here that was scrap, um, wool from Pearl Soho, good wool, good wool. But I knit the size small. Let's see, I think it's backwards. Yeah, Bing. there we go. I knit a size small. My um, tension was a little bit tight in my yoke. So it's a little bit like snug under the arms, but I knit a size small because I wanted it more fitted, but I should have just like knit the size medium um, and stuck with, you know, my traditional size with gauge and stuff, but I knit a size small. I should have added a little more to the yoke, but it it's lovely. And um, this alpaca is just mm, so good. <laughs> I love it. Um, I w I've worn, already worn it like, I don't know. 10 times it needs a good wash already but you know who has time for that um what else um let me get my Saskia socks Saski mitts um by the petite knitter let me go get those I'll be right back enjoy all the um playroom accessories until I come back Back in business. Okay, last finished um, objects are my Saski mitts by the Petite Knitter. These were my first color work mittens, um, which were went really smoothly, actually. I also used my alpaca from um, the Sundrise, or the Meadow Sundry, Morning Meadow Sundrise. <laughs> okay. We're good. We're still going. Um, morning Meadow Sunrise. And I held it single next time. I want to hold it double so they're just a bit thicker um, because they were a little, I mean, they fit fine, but I would like them to be just a bit, you know, cozier, thicker. Um, she holds them double in the pattern. So, you know, I could have held them double. But my right mitt, I knit using Magic Loop, and then my left mitt, I knit using my shorty, my Chiago. How do you say it? Chiago? Chia Chiago? How do you? Let's <laughs> make it. My kid in the background. Fry, are you having fun? Yeah. Okay. Um, I knit them with my shorties, and my um, tension was so much better around the sides. I don't know if you can even tell. But <laughs> it was tight. It's tight around the sides in this one because my tension was floppy. So I'm going to whip out my shorties a little more often. Um, I'm still getting used to um, building the muscle memory to do it because the first um, couple projects I used them on, I was like, my hands were sore and it was frustrating and it was really slow. Um, but this was pretty smooth, so I think I'm going to do it again on, like, smaller projects. Um, not, like, an adult sleeve yet, because it just, I wasn't there yet. So, this is, like, a speedy, how much time do we have? I don't even know. 15 minutes. Wow. This was short. I feel like I just flew through it, and I'm, like, nervous, and, um, 
I just needed to like break the ice and get the first episode out with my kids screaming in the background. Like, whatever. Like, I was like, I'm just gonna do it, get it out there, um, make mistakes, mess up, and then, you know, you get better and better. Um, so I was just like, let's do it, even though we got kids screaming in the background. Let's just do it and get it over with. Okay, so let's just wrap up episode one because I'm going to keep rambling. And then I'm going to be a little more prepared for episode two. Maybe like do some lifestyle stuff with it. Um, I think that's it. Like, did we do it? I think we did it. We did episode one, right? Um, yeah. Thanks for being here. This is quick and fast. I probably just talked way too fast. Um... But thanks for, you know, being along on this ride with me. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.